strategy. Hello everybody. Yes, we are starting off today's vlog outside in my backyard. It's just a nice, bright, hot, sunny day. But anyways, for today's video, I've kind of got a lot of things going on in my mind and I felt like it'd be a really fun day to kind of just take a creative day. We're just gonna be crafting all day, creating things all day, and just finding and doing things that like spark me joy. I've kind of been really going through it lately. I've been going through like a lot of changes mentally as well as personally, like within my own personal life. So I kind of just wanted like a reset day. It's kind of just a day for me to reground myself and find joy again in the things that I do, like all of my hobbies and my job. So I think I'm gonna start off right now and just kind of chill out. I just got out of the shower, I went to the gym, I had lunch, and I really wanna crochet something. You guys know I crochet here a lot on my channel, but a lot of times the pressure is like on me to crochet for videos and I never really take a moment to crochet something just for myself or especially something for Jordan. So that's what we're working on right now. And then later on, I'm actually going to start hand dyeing yarn for the first time ever. But of course you guys know, step number one to bringing me joy is a nice glass of cold iced coffee. So yeah, let's go ahead, chill out together and just start crocheting some things. All right, so as you guys know, I have had these two tote boxes of scrap yarn for I wanna say like at least a year and a half. But I figured before I ended up just tossing all of this stuff out or giving it away, that I would do my best to make a few last minute scrap projects. So something I've been working on over the, the last few days is checkered bucket hats. I've seen them all over Instagram and social media and I thought I would give it a go. So this was my sad first attempt. I really like these colors, but it kind of reminds me of like Blue's Clues. But here we go. Here is the top of the hat, a little funky with the shape. I ended up making another hat last night and tweaking the pattern a little bit. And this is hat number two. And I think this actually turned out so much better. I got the sizing right and I even got the shape of the very top of the bucket hat correct. So this is what she's looking like and I like that these checkers are a lot smaller than the ones before. But anyways, I really like the brim of this hat. I like that this time it's not as wavy. So I'm actually going to pop this one off because I am currently making another checkered bucket hat and this one's gonna be for Jordan. So I had him choose the colors and this time he really wanted like an olive green and a bright orange. So I'm just gonna stick with this better pattern right here and just continue to work on this hat. But yeah, like I was telling you guys earlier, I don't typically make a lot of things like to keep for myself or like to give to Jordan. So this is gonna be a project that we're not gonna sell. We're gonna keep this one in house and I'm hoping if I just kind of stay on this project today, I can get it done by the end of today and he can actually start wearing it out and about. But we're just trying to work through all of this spare yarn. I don't really know what to do with it. So maybe once I make a few last minute scrap yarn projects, maybe I can do like a giveaway here on the channel and just kind of gift all of this yarn to somebody who's actually going to use it instead of me. So I actually wanted to have a little one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys because you guys know I like getting personal and just getting to talk to you guys freely and openly. So the whole reason why I actually wanted to spend an entire day just crafting is because I wanted to get back to my roots and do things that purely bring me joy. And over the last few months, I've actually been struggling a little bit, just trying to find a balance between managing and running my own small business, my relationships, and even social media has been a really big toll on my mental health, which is why I'm so excited and so grateful to let you all know that this video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of mental health 
Health Awareness Month. This year's theme is actually Together for Mental Health, and I just wanna let you guys know, in case you haven't heard it from anybody recently, that I am here for you. You guys are my biggest supporters, and I wanna be able to give that back to you any way possible. And unlike traditional therapy, BetterHelp actually has a much more advanced access to mental health care. They offer customized online therapy that includes video, phone, and even live chats with your therapist. So in case you guys are uncomfortable being in front of the camera and talking to your therapist one-on-one -on -one like that, you guys can always do a live chat session so you don't even have to show your face on camera if you don't want to. There's a huge range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. Literally, all you have to do is just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you can get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And most importantly, BetterHelp is much more affordable than your traditional offline therapy. You can apply for financial aid during the sign-up process, and they even accept HSA benefits. And best of all, once you've scheduled your secure video or phone session, you can actually exchange unlimited messages to your therapist, which of course is always secure and confidential. You can always request a new therapist free of charge at any time. So you guys can switch up and find a therapist that you actually really like and that you can communicate well with. I seriously cannot stress enough how important and crucial it is to have a licensed therapist that is there for you whenever you need. So if you guys would like to check them out, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and get matched with an online therapist in 48 hours. And if you guys use my link, you can get 10% off your first month of therapy starting today. I love you guys so much and I just want you guys to do whatever you can to better yourself and better your mental health. Again, thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. so excited I have my pans my steel pans so now I can begin hand dyeing the yarn let's go ahead and finish unboxing everything else that I need to start dyeing this yarn and all of my acid dyes I can officially start dyeing my own yarn hanging out at the park for about an hour so far drinking my yummy yummy boba it's so nice out it's actually starting to get a little bit chilly because the shade is covering us now but it's such a nice day we're just kind of watching people play soccer play baseball I have puppy over here <laughs> drinking some water after playing some fetch but I've actually gotten a good amount of work done on this second bucket hat. It looks rather silly because it's not done yet, but I am just starting like the brim section of the bucket hat. So it's turning out really, really cute. So I'm kind of curious if you guys want me to put together maybe like a tutorial or like a how-to on how to do the checkered bucket hat. I feel like everybody and their mom has like made a tutorial or like a written pattern on it, but I can always give you guys like my take on it. I don't know. I'm down to put something together for you guys. I haven't made a DIY in so long, but it's been nice. Kind of taking a break from doing that kind of video. 
I've kind of realized why I felt so much pressure just like with my job and like YouTube in general was because I kind of thought that every video that I put out on YouTube had to be like a finished project and as you guys know it takes so long to make sweaters and tops and pants and skirts and stuff so once I kind of took away that pressure of needing every video to have some kind of finished end result it's really nice to kind of put together just simple videos and vlogs like this where I'm just showing you guys my process on how to make something but it's just been a really nice relaxed day i'm gonna keep working on this checkered bucket hat go oh. <laughs> Sorry. i just hit jordan with the frisbee Yes, I'm starting off the next day with another iced coffee. You guys know me, there's nothing new here. But I had a really busy night last night and I kind of wanted to catch you guys up on some things that I got completed. So first up, I finished up the crochet bucket hat. Like I showed you guys earlier, this was the first colorful red and like lavender bucket hat. I've been wearing it nonstop for a day, I think it's so freaking cute. It doesn't really go with this outfit. I finished up Jordan's orange and green bucket hat last night and it looks so, so darling. I already had him try it on, but I'm proud of myself because I didn't wait till the last minute to sew in all of the ends. So it is completed. It looks so good. And I'm so proud of myself for actually creating a brim on this bucket hat that's not like super frilly. It's a little bit more like stiff and flat looking but it looks so good actually this might go better with this outfit i love it it's a little bit too big for my head but like i said this is for jordan so now we get to you know matchy matchy when we go out to the park and run our errands but look at that i literally have three bucket hats done in the span of like a day and a half very proud of myself and the moment you guys have all been waiting for i finally finished up that hand dyed yarn from yesterday that little sneak peek that you guys saw oh my gosh i'm so freaking happy look at how good these look i'm so impressed with myself I cannot believe that this was actually my very first time hand dyeing yarn and I think it came out so so good. It's kind of hard to see the colors because this natural lighting is kind of washing out what it looks like in person but I got these really bright striking colors with a little little pop of like a lime green in there and some darker Caribbean looking blue. So this is what my first official three hanks of yarn look like. But just look how gorgeous this looks. I cannot believe that I did this. And you guys already know that I'm currently in the process of trying to figure out a few other colorways that I can work on. So if you guys have a name for this colorway, something cute, something fun, something creative, let me know down below in the comments. And by the time that you guys are seeing this video, I've probably already created a few more colorways in the works, but here they are. I'm so, so proud of myself. I cannot believe that I'm already doing this. I have so much pigment, so you guys are going to see a lot more hand dyed skeins coming from me very, very soon. Hopefully I can get these up for pre-order and just get to working on these for you guys, but... I'm saying goodbye to my super cute striped balaclava that you guys saw me make so many months ago. So stunning, so cute. I hope that whoever is receiving this gets some love out of this and loves wearing it. <laughs> 
that is everything so far from the secondhand sale. I want to say I have, what is this, like five or six packages at the moment. But some of these packages have like three or four things inside of them. So I'll be sending these out in the next few days. Let's just go ahead and finish up working on some of that yarn. I need to hand wash it. 